Tommy, look at you. I thought we were going to do a build it. You look like you're about to DJ a party. <laughs> we are going to do a build it. We're going to do a build it to hold this turntable right here, play some of the records that I used to listen to when I was a kid. Boy, you do love your Elvis, don't you? Yeah, it was cool. Listen to vinyl records. You just sat around and played the tunes. Yeah. It was uh, something to do. And let's face it, it's kind of coming back, right? You can buy turntables yeah. now. You can go and get the old vintage records. People like listening to and them. And there are companies that are starting to make them again. All right, so, so it's fun. I'm on board. What yeah. are you thinking? All right, so take a look right here. I want to make a simple box, mm -hmm. and it's going to have tapered legs underneath it. And I'm going to make that box just enough to hold the turntable on top and the records underneath to stand them gotcha. up. Gotcha. And it's okay. sort of a modern look you got going on there. Mid-century modern. I actually copied it from a design. I looked at some books and stuff like that from old cabinets. And the material you're thinking? It's going to be three-quarter inch oak. And this is a red oak veneer. And I bought it at the home center. Nice. I bought a sheet of three-quarter. It's much more than we need, but you can always use it. And we'll use quarter-inch birch because they didn't have this in oak. Nice. But you're not going to really see it. I'll stain right. it up. And then some solid stock as well. Right, this is one by four red oak, and I also got some one by three red oak. Nice thing about this is you can buy just what you need. And basically that is uh, for the face frame. Uh, we gotta cover the edge of the uh, plywood. Cover the edge of the plywood, but I wanna simulate like a draw front that will be underneath the table. All right, let's do it. All right, to get started, we're gonna rip this piece down for the depth of our cabinet, and it's gonna be 15 and 3 eighths. This one piece will end up being our two sides, bottom and top. Rather than cutting the pieces and dealing with the plywood edges individually, it's easier to cut them as one. We're going to attach the solid red oak to the plywood with floating tenons. So we have to mark both of the pieces so the mortises that will hold the tenons will line up. We'll just put some wood glue into the mortises and along the edge of the plywood, then set the floating tenants into the hole. That's pretty good. Let's give it a few minutes for this to dry, and then we can rip it down. You may have noticed that the mortises were set off center on the edges and on the oak. The reason is, is because I want to chamfer the edge to give it a little more detail. Then we'll use a rabbiting bit to recess the back panel. Now I can set my track saw to 45 degrees and cut one side of each panel. After cutting one side, we turn the pieces around and I cut the opposing miter at 45 degrees. And that'll give me my length. Okay, you good, you even? Yeah, I'm even. We're going to use the floating tenons to hold all the sides together, but this time we'll have to cut the mortises on our miter cut. So we'll set the machine shoe at 45 degrees.
It's a lot easier to sand the inside of the box before we put it together. Now we can install our tenants and glue up our cabinet. All right, we'll get this last clamp on here, get this all tightened up. Wait about a half an hour, 45 minutes for this glue to set up. And then we should be fine without any mechanical fasteners. All right, so this is the piece of one by four that will go up under the top to support it and give it a different dimension. and we'll attach that piece with the same floating tenant system. All right, now we're gonna cut the little molding detail to frame that upper section. I'm going to cope cut each end of that molding. Now a cope cut will simulate a miter, but it will actually sit on the face of the other molding. Now we'll give everything a good sanding, starting with 100 grit and moving up to 220. All right, so everything's been sanded, wiped it all down with a tack rag, and now I want to put a preconditioner on it so when the stain goes on the oak, it will go on evenly. All right, the conditioner has set up, we've wiped it off, and now we're gonna stain it, and we're gonna use a thick gel stain and just brush it on and wipe it off. Oh yeah, it is thick. Yeah. All right, I'm gonna wipe some of this off, Tommy. Yep, start out the front, work your way back. Look at that. Nice, huh? Huh? Try to keep it nice and even. This is a high gloss polyurethane. We'll put on about four coats. We want to make sure it's thoroughly dry before we apply in our next coat. All right, because the leg is going to sit at an angle off one side, we want to keep the bracket in about two inches from the side and one inch from the front because it's not going to tip forward. And pre-made legs. Right, these are tapered round legs, pretty common with the mid-century modern design. So I got 12 inches because I want the cabinet to be at a certain height and the 12 inches will work. Flip it over, we can adjust the leg. Okay, Tommy, your choice, GI Blues or Blue Hawaii? Oh, Blue Hawaii. Blue, wow, Blue Hawaii, old school, huh? Oh yeah. No, Wait a minute, not, no, 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 well, not well, more well, Elvis. Hey, well, no, hey, no, Tommy, hey. you and your Elvis. Hey. How about Crosby, Stills, and Nash? Before Young. <laughs> That's too hippie stuff. We <laughs> don't need hippie. hippie. Don't yeah. knock the hippie stuff. What about a little Grateful Dead? Are you a deadhead? Oh, 
Not really. I just went to 35 shows and Jerry's funeral, but I'm not a deadhead. But <laughs> oh, my God. So you're a deadhead. This is the best right here. <sighs> Tommy, a very nice build. Well done. Thanks for the help. Thanks for watching. This old house has got a video for just about every home improvement project, so be sure to check out the others. And if you like what you see, click on the subscribe button. Make sure that you get our newest videos right in your feed.